sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. But I won't be around. So, to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to pull the battery out of there to give myself some more room and very well may end up pulling that oil tank as well because the hose runs over here around behind it. Uh, something that uh, is easy to do and helps is when you pull all the cords off there, zip tie them together, that way you make sure you put them all back together and you don't accidentally lose one and leave it laying on the bottom and have something that doesn't work. So the oil tank's out, I took a few minutes to kind of wipe it down and clean it off a little bit, not going to spend too much time on it. This is what it looks like inside without it and I did find out that you need to pull the screws so you can lift this up otherwise there's a tube that runs down in the in the tank and uh, makes it pretty difficult to get out of there. Notice a little rubber glove there on the end of the uh, the oil intake and pressurizer just to keep things kind of clean. So at this point I've started disconnecting internal hoses. This is the particular one that runs to the uh, to the engine. And you can see this crud in there. See it in the hose there a little bit. Um, that's why I'm replacing the hoses. These, uh, although as far as I know there's never been ethanol fuel run through here. These are old hoses. And there may have been at some point um, but regardless, they're obviously breaking down or they've got crud on them that needs to be uh, getting rid of. So hopefully this will uh, continue to go pretty well and be a decent decent deal. So this is an aftermarket uh, BassBoatSeats.com um, console in my Triton. Um, it's uh, screwed down in, in onto a plate here. To get to the gas tank in a Triton, you, you run through this. So I'm going to pull this off to get to the front side of the uh, the hose there, so we can start to uh, connect one my my new version and pull it through. And this is what you see when you pull it off. There's the fuel level sender unit. The inflow and exhaust are uh, vent for the the tank. And I got to dig around see if I can find out where the, the hose is coming in. So this guy's right there coming into into this side which may be a bit of a pain to get to but we'll see. It took a little contortion getting the hands up in there to get things loose. I ended up using a razor knife to uh, to kind of cut it off the, um, the, the nub in there because I couldn't get it to pull loose but now I've got a good piece of hose I, I cut the end off. I'm going to use this junction uh, on the old hose and the new hose to uh, to pull the new hose through. Um, otherwise, you can't really get it to feed through there very well. So, hope this works. So, we got the hose pulled. There's the new hose. Got the new uh, primer bulb installed. But when I got over to my uh, fuel water separator, I found that the nipples were um, five sixteenths instead of three eighths. So, I got to run. Uh, get some larger nipples to replace that and it's interesting that uh, I was necking everything down here uh, which may or may not be the right thing to do to get the right amount of fuel to the engine uh, so we'll get those replaced and and move on from that here's the uh, the old hose you can see the length that came out from the the uh, tank it's probably about six maybe seven feet um, and honestly I think this has been replaced relatively recently that's pretty clean and relatively new looking and I had I known that I wouldn't have done that portion of it I would have just done the portion back where the water separator is um, but since I was in there and I already had the hose I went ahead and pulled it through and now I know that uh, that it's new hose and that it's the right hose um, so got that going for me so here's the end result there's the uh, fuel water separator again got nice new hoses running to and from it um, I swapped this around from what you saw earlier I had originally this running into the fuel water separator um, that wasn't the way it was set up originally so I switched it out and ran it the other way so that this is running from the old water, uh, fuel water separator up back to the engine 
Um, not really sure what the right way to do that is, but if I decide to change it in the future, I've got a junction here, I can just switch that over with no real problem. Um, got the battery back in there, got the oil tank back in there, got everything all nice and neat, tied up. Ran it for just a few minutes on the, uh, the water hose out here, headed out to the lake tomorrow. Um, hopefully it'll run good and everything will work, work well. Um, hope this helps you at some point in the future. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a note. Fish on.